Hello, my 3D printer peeps. Hello, my special peeps that own both Creality and Bamboo printers. Let's break the internet by printing the new Creality logo on a Bamboo printer with the AMS multi-material system. This logo here has some serious overhangs and I'm not sure how much fun it would be to print or clean up. So I'm not gonna print that one just yet. We'll go ahead and look at this one. And it is sized to fit over the QR code on many printers. Let's get some color on this thing. Since Creality has been showing it in green, I will print it in green. However, I do have files of this logo in black and white. So I'm not sure that green is the color they are actually officially going with moving forward, but it does appear there is at least a chance that might be the case. First, I will go ahead and paint this. I have green on my plate already, and I will go ahead and add white. So now I have green and white on my plate. I'll select the model. We'll move over to the paint tool. We'll select white and we'll use fill. Hopefully this model fills easily. It sure does. We now have white as our base and green as our logo. Let's check out our settings. Before looking into any more settings, I wanna see where the Z seam is gonna be, so let's slice it. I see the Z seam is right there, not a huge fan of that. I will click on back and slice this again. I see the Z seam is mostly inside and at the top. Let's go nearest and slice again. Don't like that. Let's go align and slice again. Don't like that. So I don't like the way any of these Z seams look. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this model so that the front is the back and the back is the front. This will allow me to align it to back and have the back now be the back rather than the front. See if I can't get that Z seam down the center. I cannot. What I can do is go ahead and try to paint that Z seam. So let's give that a shot just for fun. I'll click on seam painting and I will see if it will allow me to run that Z seam right here under this arch where it might be less visible. We now have a nice single Z seam down the lower portion of the logo. This looks so much cleaner. Moving along, we will check our strength. I'm fine with everything that's here. It's just a logo. We'll go to speed. I do wanna make sure things are clean so I will slow things down. Just setting some random lower speeds as I always do when working with my P1P and P1S. We do not need supports, so I will turn them off. Not that it matters, it wouldn't print any anyway, but you want to always be in control. Moving over to other, I am going to set brim type to no brim. I do not feel like peeling a brim off this thing. I'm going to turn off the prime tower, so no flushing into infill. No prime tower, just one straight up color change. Let's go ahead and send this to a P1P and see if we can't give it a brain aneurysm. Slice plate. Print plate, printer name Zoe. We don't need bed leveling. We will need the AMS. I do want my time lapse. We'll have green in slot three and white in slot four. For the white, I will be using Creality HP Ultra. For the green, I will be using the green sample Bamboo Lab filament that came with my P1S. Ironically, this is the first time I am ever printing with Bamboo Lab brand filament. Very nice. Looks good. There it is. It looks really good. Very cool. And my P1P didn't have an aneurysm. Here is my beloved Ender 3 Max. I'm going to put a little piece of 3M double-sided sticky tape. Peeling this tape is the stuff of nightmares, but I got it. And you'll see it fits nicely right over the Ender 3 Max QR code. And there it is. Fun fact, this is the first cosmetic item I've ever printed for a Creality printer and only the second cosmetic item I've ever printed for a 3D printer, period. Very cool. It looks nice. I like it.
Hey.